Hey kids, Georgia here. I want to send out a big congratulations to all of you out there for getting through a whole term and a half of lockdown and online learning. It's been a bit like a roller coaster ride this year, hasn't it? Ups and downs and ups and downs. Back at playgroup, home from playgroup. Back at kinder, home from kinder. Back at school and home from school to learn from your amazing teachers over your screens and maybe with some help from mum and dad too. I think your parents and carers deserve a very big hug for the way they have loved you through this term. Well done parents and a special shout out to those of you who are teachers. We've been praying for you and cheering you on. Well, last week, Pastor Jono preached from a great story in the book of Samuel. And today we're going to take a different look at that same story. We're going to meet a woman called Hannah and see how God blessed her faithfulness. Let's check it out. Slapstick Theatre. Hannah and God. This is Hannah. Hi. Hannah was married to a man named Elkanah. Hey! But they were not able to have any children. This made Hannah sad. Oh. It's okay. Come on. Every year, Hannah and Elkanah would go to the house of the Lord at Shiloh to pray to God and offer sacrifices. Hannah would cry out and pray to the Lord. She told God that if he gave her a son, she would give him back to him and that her son would serve God all the days of his life. <laughs> Hannah was so upset that one of the priests, Eli, thought there was something off about her. But Hannah told him that she had been praying because she had a broken heart. <laughs> Eli told her, may the God of Israel grant the requests you've made. Thank you. And then Hannah was no longer sad. In due time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Yeah! She named him Samuel for she said, I asked the Lord for him. Hannah did as she said she would, and once Samuel was a little older, she took him to the temple. Hannah prayed and gave thanks to God, and Samuel grew up in the temple serving the Lord. When Hannah was feeling sad, she was able to trust God with her feelings. She prayed and kept asking God for what she believed was in God's plan for her, to become a mum. Hannah promised God that when he blessed her with a child, she would make sure the child grew up to honour him, and that's exactly what Samuel did. God listens to us when our hearts hurt. He places people in our lives to encourage us and pray for us, just like Eli did for Hannah. And Sally and I have been praying for all of you during lockdown. I wonder who you've been praying for. I encourage you to ask mum, dad or your carer to help you pray for someone whose heart might be hurting today and ask God to bless them. You can do that in a minute. Well, for those of you at school, you only have five days left until school holidays. Enjoy your time outside of the house, families. You have done so incredibly well. And Sally and I will be back after the school holidays with a new series called Strong Foundations. We're going to learn about what the Bible has to say about managing our emotions very timely. We hope we'll see you back at church by then. But if not, we'll be coming to a screen near you. Don't forget to pray for that friend because God is listening. Well, we miss you and we love you lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. So we'll see you very soon.